Now that live look from the steps of the U.S. Supreme Court tonight, this following the court's rejection of affirmative action for college admissions. Now, Abby Forbes getting local reaction on this decision. She joins us again live. Who did you speak with tonight? Yeah, I spoke with a local university and the local chapter of the NAACP to find out exactly what this means. The most important thing that I believe that a person uh, needs to do, and that's to understand the power of their vote. The Supreme Court ruled against affirmative action being used in university admissions on June 29th, which means that race can no longer be used as a deciding factor in the admissions process. I'm told that not all schools use this, but some did. Particularly a lot of the more um, prestigious colleges and universities, Ivy League schools, uh, because um, race was a big factor that outside organizations looked at, and diversity was a big factor that outside organizations looked at to evaluate whether that school was you know, a, a prestigious institution. This specific case surrounded affirmative action being used in the admissions process at Harvard University and the University of North Carolina. The court ruled 6-3 to three, saying that using race in the admissions process was a violation of the Constitution. We know that there are going to be some challenges with the legislation that has come about, but they can continue the practices of ensuring that one, that there's uh, uh, diversity, there's uh, equity, there's inclusion. Cedarville University told me that colleges and universities will likely still ask for an applicant's race. The difference is that the university will not be able to use that information as a deciding factor. It's not like race can't be talked about. It cannot just it cannot explicitly be used as an evaluation tool when deciding whether to admit someone. Cedarville University did tell me that this ruling is going to be very hard to police. This is going to have to work itself out in the court systems going forward. And um, there will be some policies that maybe on their face are, 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 are race neutral, um, but in certain, court, certain courts decide that they aren't race neutral. Cedarville University, Central State University, and UD say that they will continue to uphold their school's missions and do not anticipate this changing their policies already in place. Back to you.